Hi everyone, I'm Eric Moy, alongside me is Harker Dirge, and we are here to take a look at the top five events that happened in 2015 in the UWC. And a lot of things happened, Harker Dirge. You had a lot of things happen to you in 2015. Oh yeah, I had a lot of things happen in 2015, I don't know. I'm trying to think, what could the top five moments be? It's kind of a head scratcher, but leading into number five, Eric. Well, you, something that Harker Dirge had a, had a more than a bit of a hand in, you had number five and number four, but first, number five, we take a look at a young man, uh, Matt Cage, who certainly made a, a lot of national headlines in 2015 uh, for many different reasons, a solid wrestler. And he went up against uh, Mr. Travis Weir, a former saint who probably couldn't be called that right now. But in an interesting matchup, Matt Cage had been named the Wrestler of the Year by an online group. And that group uh, gave him a certain plaque, and that plaque made an appearance in a match, and well, folks, you see what happened here. So how about this, baby boy? Or maybe should I talk to you? You seem to be the big man on campus here. How about tonight? You and I step in the ring. You bring him with you. You and I, we step in the ring. We handle our business out there like men. Like men, like wrestler of the year would do. I'll tell you what. I'll even be willing to put this, this award on the line. You want to go out there and do something like that? You want to call yourself a big shot? You win tonight, you can call yourself rest of the year. How about that, huh? It's also uh, worth noting that Matt Cage had put his NBS for wrestler of the year on the line. So by that logic, I guess, if Travis Weir were to win this one tonight, and no disrespect to Travis, but that would be a huge upset. But then again, anybody knows it's me. He can pull off the big upset. Oh yes, uh, anything can happen in the UWC. But if, if he can pull it off, I guess by some people's logic, then Travis Weir would be the wrestler of the year. I, I suppose so. And interesting trophy to put Shades on the line. Shades of Sal Tomaselli there. Uh, Matt Cage lighting him up with the uh, hard shots and stiff forearms before being shut down from thumb to the eye. Oh, oh, huge drop kick. Still in right, I think in the side of the head, maybe even the ear. Oh, Code breaker, he got him. Could it be, could this be the end of the match? Could that be what puts Travis Weir away? Matt Cage holding the leg in the cover. No way. I'm pretty shocked, actually. I, that was, it, it looked like that was it. <laughs> it may have been the momentary hesitation after the maneuver was delivered before the actual pinfall. I, but man, oh, Matt Cage though, he's pulling the knee pad down. Knee brace, but wait, look, I think Tiki Wabash slid something in Travis Weir. I, I don't Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. He's got the nuts. He's got brass knuckles, but Matt Cage catches him. Ooh, stomp on the hand. I can break your finger. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait. I was gonna say it's Matt, not. Matt Cage tries That's not how it goes. That is, that is not legal. It's one thing to get angry. But... Wait, what? Oh! Did he oh! With a low blow and, 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 oh! Oh! Low level kick! A short super. Oh, but there's the spinning neck breaker. breaker. One. Could it be? Oh my god, he got that him! That's it! Travis Weir takes the victory, and I suppose the Wrestler of the Year award. Yes, which Sticky Wabash is currently parading around the entire arena. An unbelievable victory, and a hard-fought match. Oh, amazing. 
So Travis Weir made us a win the match with Matt Cage and proclaimed himself the wrestler of the year and the Travis Weir of the year. But Travis Weir had never done one thing. He never caught a rabbit. And he wasn't no friend of mine. So when he said he could beat anybody in the middle of the ring, well, Harker Durge was sure to step up to the plate and see if Travis could back up his bravado. Smacks Durge. He smacks Durge a couple of times. Just so close to that award. Durge pounding away. And one last time. And we're about ready to go down. Look out. He's down. He is down. Harker Durge grabs the award. And he's got it. And beats Travis Weir for the award. Yeah, when I beat Travis Weir in that match, I gained that plaque and those accolades. It was like a dream for Travis had turned into a nightmare. But there was somebody else that had a dream in the UWC in 2015. Yeah, and he's just number four on the list of the top five events of 2015 in the UWC. A young man named Sam Knight, the right hand of God. A young man started off uh, his career in the UWC, not off to a great start. He worked his way up. And slowly, 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 he got better and better. Not only that, but the fans really took to him and really got behind him over through the year. He got a chance to go for the UWC Online Championship against the Warren, who's, you know, here, here, The Warren's a bad here. customer, and he also injured Sam Knight earlier. Yeah, and he's also in the Bo Sawyer, who is basically a bottled can of rage, no matter where he goes. <laughs> and. It was a great match, and it was a chance for Sam Knight to really come through for himself and the fans. That's number four. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Heat Is On. I'm Eric Roy up in the Crow's Nest, and we're getting ready for this first match. UWC The Heat Is On. It's a triple threat match for that online championship. You can see it right there being held up by referee Sean Reif. The champion, the warden, on his knees in the corner. Two men who definitely do not like each other. And Bo Sawyer and Sam Knight squaring off in this triple threat match. The warden walking up to him and spreading him out a little bit. Reminding everybody that he is the champion. And he gets a double shot for his troubles. And a back shot to the back of the head of Sam Knight. And Bo Sawyer is right at it. Bo Sawyer and Sam Knight in the ring right now. The warden is outside trying to figure out what just hit him. And it was both wrestlers. Flying off with a forearm and down goes Bo Sawyer. And Sawyer is going to hit Knight and the warden. And Knight's put the straps down. He's ready to go. He's got the warden all set. The Warden staggering around. He's got him up. Lance him. He really got him good. Here's the cover. One, two, three, and that's it. We've got a new champion. We've got a new champion. And it's Sam Knight. Sam Knight is your new online champion. Exposed the Bull Sawyer outside the ring and took advantage of a staggered warden. And your new online champion is Sam Knight. And the crowd here in Georgetown takes to their feet. They love this young man, Sam Knight, and he has come through and he has got himself a championship belt. It's been a heck of a year for this young man. And a crowd, Sam, Sam, Sam. And he's going to give them all an opportunity. And his thanks. He has got himself a championship. Sam Knight, the right hand of God, is your new online champion. Boom, Sam Knight. Moving on up, if you will, to the east side, to that deluxe apartment in the sky as the online champion. But coming up on March 12th, Sam Knight's going to get an opportunity to put another notch in that belt buckle. And I'm talking about the time he's going to face 
in Georgetown, somebody I can't stand to, Blake Green, the UWC champion. And Blake Reed is going to have his hands full against a guy who's been riding the wave of support of fans in the area. The Georgetown fans really got behind him. Let's see if he's able to fulfill his dream of getting the UWC championship coming up on March 12th. March 12th, and I'm going to be keeping my eyes on that match. But speaking of classic TV lines moving on up to the east side, I gave an opportunity to a lot of people in 2015 to come on down. We weren't talking about a game show. We were talking about the real deal in the middle of the wrestling ring. Yeah, what a prize. They got a chance to face Harker Dirge in the Open Challenge. And now let's find out who is answering the Open Challenge here tonight. Here's your winner, Harker Dirt! Well, that was 2015, Harker Dirt. Uh, what about 2016? You lay out the open challenge again? You never know. Anything that's on my plate, I'm gonna eat it. We're gonna rename all my opponents. Sushi, pizza, chop suey, and any other kind of Asian, American, or international cuisine that I can think of because we're going to go worldwide with the United Wrestling Coalition. We might even throw another shrimp on the barbie. Do that. I'm going to chew it up. The competition has never been juicier, never been meatier, never been more intense, and it was super intense from a man, Aaron Matthews, this year. Yeah, Aaron Matthews, his career was going, well, nowhere for a long time. In fact, his career almost ended back in May. Well, he overcame some personal problems aside from his career problems, but... Grew up a little bit, tried to. Aaron Matthews' career almost ended in May in a retirement match for Jason B. That's right, and then he turned it around, got into the Horizon Cup, and came out on top. And that's our next time. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall and is the finals of the Horizon Cup Tournament. Introducing first, standing in the corner to my left, he got to this point by defeating Sean Reif, Jason V, and Tornado Jones. He hails from Shotgun City, Iowa. This is the Corn Fed Beast, Bo Sawyer. And his opponent standing in the corner to my right. He got to this point in time by defeating Excalibur, the Warden, and Mark Vandy. Hailing from 
from Georgetown, and this is Who's Sexy, Aaron Matthews. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. This is the final of the Horizon Cup for 2015 at Ascension to Greatness. You heard Jason B tell you how these two athletes got here. And again, as we have seen throughout the sense of the greatness, we've got a smaller man and a bigger man. Quite a difference in uh, the uh, styles of the athletes. But as we've seen, so sometimes the bigger man wins, sometimes the smaller man wins. In this last match, we saw well, old Joey O'Reilly put out a tremendous effort, but the freight train just absolutely ran him over at the end. And you see, <laughs> see Eric Lloyd. This is for all the marbles right now. This is, this may be one of the most emotional main events in this company's history. Almost eight years in existence, and this match is a culmination of at least the last two or three years. Now, Aaron Matthews. Oh, oh, oh! Well, he, he took his eye off the prize, and that's what you get. You should know better than to turn away from Bo Sawyer by this point. Now, this time last year, Aaron Matthews went all the way to the finals of the Horizon Cup tournament, and he fought Blake Reed. Now, Blake Reed on that day was the better man. Aaron Matthews went to the well once to... Oh, my good! Oh, boy! Up That's the power of Bo Sawyer. Yeah, he flipped over that ring uh, post like uh, Adrian Adonis used to back in the days, up and over and down. And, and Bo Sawyer is coming right back after him, too. He knows he's going to have to... You're going to have to really, really, and you've been in the ring with him so many times, you're going to have to beat Aaron Matthews into the ground to do it. Well, I think that's what Bo's trying to do. That's what he does. And you see, folks, there is no bottom rope for this match. That was... What's that got to do with their psyche? I mean, I don't, I've never wrestled in a match where there was no bottom rope. No. In fact, oh, Aaron, Aaron, lighten him up. Lighten him up. Well, there's no intimidation in Aaron Matthews. That is, that is one thing that Bo Sawyer is not going to be able to use. He's not going to be able to intimidate this man. He's been through so many matches against so many different opponents. He's not an old man by any stretch of the imagination. I am. He's not. But he's been through with so many different athletes, has held so many di different championships, been in against the big, the small, the fast. There have been occasion times when he wasn't the fastest man in the ring, and he still came out with a win. Absolutely. I mean, but you saw last year, the Century of Greatness, he was in the ring with a man that was bigger, stronger. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. No, no, no. Saw five. Oh! Well, that was on the, well, the steel part of that ring on good, the outside. Good luck, Aaron. This second verse is the same as the first. You know, it does make it a little good. easier to come into the ring from the outside. It's going to fall in. I don't know what that's going to play into this match later. Aaron fell to Blake Reed last year to sense the greatness, and I, I think if Bo would have went for the cover, he would have fell to Bo this year. Well, that's not that's not what he does. He, he, now, Jones, Aaron Matthews. Physical, physical match the against Mark had, Bandy. The referee actually had to help him get his hand off of that turnbuckle. I think his finger was actually caught in it. And that'll take you, that takes a big peg out of your arsenal, not being able to use a hand. And, uh, you call it the, oh, man. Yeah, the top rope and a bottom rope, a uh, middle rope and no bottom rope here. So. I'm not sure exactly what Bo's going for. He's never one to leave his feet. No. He goes, he he's does very not ground go. oriented wrestler. He slowed down quite a bit. Oh, it looked Matthews. like he was just trying to kind of shove him over. No, no, no. He's yeah. positioning him. It's going be a superplex. Off that oh, second man. Move. Or, oh, At this, no, 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 no. He's got. There's no way. Some sort of. He's going for that soft five. He's going for his finishing move, that soft five off, off the top. Oh, Aaron's caught Aaron's going to try and do anything to get out of that. I don't blame him. Absolutely. And headbutts. To that cranium? To his ear. Oh, he hit him in the ear. Oh! DDT. No, no, not a DDT. A bulldog. 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 This might be Aaron's moment. Can he hit him with that splash? Maybe a moonsault. Second row. Moonsault. Top row. Oh, my God. He hit him on the face. Ooh. He landed on his One, head. Two. Three! He got Three. him! He got him! He landed it right on the head! And that was, well, if you're gonna take the big guy oh, out. He did it! Now, maybe that wasn't the ideal landing spot for Matthews, but it was to knock the big guy out, and that's what he did for the three count. 
You don't have to kill him. Hold him for a three, and that's what he did. And finally, Aaron Matthews has got the Horizon Cup. You talk about a match that could go either way. Oh, sorry, I thought life was really going his way, but Aaron Matthews pulled that one out of nowhere. Yeah, Aaron Matthews. One thing you can say about Aaron Matthews is he's hard to kill. I mean, you could beat the beat the Aaron out of him, and he's still going to kick out. And one by one by one in that tournament, they all went down. And one of the men that Aaron had to overcome was another bald-headed gentleman with a beard. I'm talking about Mark Vandy. Yeah, the man with a knee that will knock you plain out and. That Mark Vandy is quite an athlete. He says that was a fluke, his uh, loss to Aaron. And he's still complaining about that match, but he's going to get a chance to redeem himself on March 12th in Georgetown. That's coming up. And you know, one of the things that folks, and this is going to lead us to our number one, because the UWC in Georgetown this last year, 2015, had more live shows than any other promotion in Illinois. It was amazing how many week after week people would come out to see Parker Dirge. Come out to see Aaron Matthews, come out to see Blake Reed, come out to see Jason B, come out to see all the great stars of the UWC week after week after week, and then watch them online at UWC Online. And it was a pleasure to do business in Georgetown. It was a pleasure to put our bodies on the line and do it all for those fans because nobody is more rabid, nobody is more wild than a Georgetown fan, but in the coming year, we're even going to expand beyond that. But right now, the business at hand is a number one UWC do it more than anybody else dared to dream.